everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm so excited for, um, we're doing a review on the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip. Um, I was so excited for this box, especially because of the Tarte right here, the Kat Von D, the Bite Beauty. Um, definitely interested in different colors for that. So um, this box is $28. It is only on Sephora.com. Um, this is just a great way to try out new brands of lipsticks that maybe that you have never tried out before, new colors in the brand. Um, this is, box is just such an awesome box. It always does give you at least one full-size lipstick. Uh, in this box, you do get six different lipsticks, one being full-size. I have gotten boxes where there were two full-size, so it really just depends on the box. And then they do this every so often. Um, and you do get different shades every single time. So super, super stoked for this. Um, so I do have a review of previous ones. Um, they do have the Gimme Sunu Lip still online. And I did a review on that. So I will have that link down below so you guys can watch that one if you haven't already. Um, so we are just going to go ahead and get started. Uh... Actually, you know what? I will be right back. I'm going to go ahead and remove this lipstick so we can do lip swatches as well. Okay, so the first one we're going to start with is from Bite Beauty. Um, and the color is going to be Pink Pearl. All right, so this is the color right there. Bring that down a little bit. Ooh, that is pretty. You see that? There is your swatch. Let's go ahead and give you a lip swatch. Oh, <laughs> that is shimmery. Oh, I kind of wish I had this for my mermaid collab. That would have been nice. So this is definitely something that I would not wear out and about. <laughs> I would definitely have to make do a creative look for this. Um, I still think it's fun. I still think it's pretty. It's not necessarily something like I said that I would wear, but I still, I'm still glad that I got to try it because <laughs> I like the shininess of it. So it is still pretty. All right, so let's move on to the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. And this is in the color SPL. So, this is what it looks like right there. Go ahead and do your swatch. Oh, this is another pink shimmery color. Ooh, kind of has like a minty smell to it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's pretty. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it. I can't really feel it when I uh, put my lips together, so that is good. Um, once again, this is not one that I would actually go out and buy, maybe a full size. Um, but I would see myself kind of using this up. Uh, it feels really nice on the lips, kind of has that minty smell to it. So, um, yeah, so that is the Urban Decay Lip Cushion Lip Gloss. Okay, so my lips feel a little tingly after that one, but not in a bad way. <laughs> All right, so next, oh, I'm excited for this one. It is from Kat Von D, and this is in the color Lovecraft. Now, I have been wanting to try this color for quite some time. I just not have, I have not purchased it, so I'm really excited that it is in here. Um... I do like her liquid lipsticks, but I have never tried this lipstick before, so I'm very excited for that. Feels really nice, really creamy, very pretty. It's like our third pink, which is okay. I like pink, as long as it's not a crazy hot pink, bright pink, neon pink, I'm okay. <laughs> That's a pretty color. 
Okay, so here is your lip swatch. Um, this is a pretty color. I actually really, really like this color. Um, it was really creamy, really easy to put on. Um, I didn't have to like kind of drag it along. It was just really nice. So yeah, this one is a huge plus for me. Really, really enjoy that. And once again, that is Kat Von D in the color Lovecraft. So yeah. Okay, so I'm really excited for this next one as well. This is a brand new product from one of my favorite companies. I love Tarte so much. Um, and this is the Tarte H2O Gloss. So, yay! Now, I do like this packaging. You see that it has kind of like water drops right here. So you can actually fill them on there. Um, so I really, really like that. And I'm not sure if this has a color. It says Bora on the bottom. So I'm assuming that is the color. Um, all right. Kind of looks like the second one we did. Um, the Urban Decay. Well, maybe not when the light, no, I take that back. When the light hits on it, it looks a little bit more purple. So let's try this bad boy on. See how it feels. Okay. So, hmm. It is a little bit more thick than the Urban Decay. I can definitely feel the shimmer in it. It is sticky, which I'm not a big fan of sticky lip glosses. You can see, ugh, yeah, ugh. You saw that? I'm sorry. But it's kind of already making that line inside my mouth. So, I'm not a fan of this one at all. Um, mm -mm, yeah. No, would not purchase it. I even feel it as I'm talking. I feel like it's gucking up in my mouth, and I, I don't like that. So that is a that's a fail. All right. So next we have the uh, Grande Lips Plumping Liquid Lipstick. Um, this is in the color Smoked Sherry. I do like the fact that it kind of gives you this little um, window right here to let you see how much product you have left, and that is. Always, and that's what it look like that's what it looks like right there so let's go ahead and do a swatch hmm. oh not a fan of the of the smell oh it's definitely darker than what I thought it would be so that is your swatch right there oh but Ah, that smell. That is awful. Ugh. All right, so here is the color right here. The color is really pretty. I really, really enjoy the color. Um feels kind of good on the lips get a little minor tingle to it but n nothing that would bother me um but uh, I cannot get over the smell the smell is disgusting I don't know if that would go away I would not want to wear this out in public um so I will test this at home to see if the smell goes away because if it doesn't this thing is just going straight into the trash the smell is just awful but it's a shame because I really I like the color um, if it wasn't for the smell I think this would be a good one but uh, bleh, yuck okay I gotta get this off my lips I'll be right back okay so I am back um, my lips still have kind of a tingle to it. Like I said, it's nothing major, nothing that is just uncomfortable. Um, but that smell was just horrendous, like bad. Um, I would not go in public with that smell. <laughs> I just would not. I don't even know. 
I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say. So let's just move on. Uh, and the last product, which is my full size product, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and this is in the color Ruby. Ruby, of course, will be red. Ooh, that's a really pretty red. So let's do a swatch. I've heard these are drying, but I have not tried them personally. I know they're liquid lipsticks are drying. I have tried those. And I do not like the liquid lipsticks, but I have not tried their actual lipstick. So that is the color right there. Okay, so here is your lip swatch. Um, if you saw those funny faces I was making, is because it, I can't rub my lips together. It's just like really, really, really just, I don't know, hard or dry. Um, so I can't exactly rub my lips back and forth in a comfortable manner. <laughs> um, but the color is pretty. I really, really like the color. So maybe I can get past that. If you did see when I was applying it, um, it does drag the lips. It was hard to apply. So it's not, definitely not a creamy formula, but it is a pretty color. So I don't know. All right, so let's just do a quick recap. So here are all your swatches. So in this kit, you do get the Bite Beauty. Uh, you got the Urban Decay lip gloss. We got the Tarte H2O lip gloss. We got the Grande Lips lip Lipstick, which is a huge fail. We got the Kat Von D and Lovecraft, which I probably say is my favorite out of this box. Um, and then of course the full size Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Rubies. So this is the box for the Sephora favorites. Give me some lip. Um, okay, so I kind of, I liked Bite Beauty. I liked the Urban Decay lip gloss. Not my cup of tea, not something I would wear out, but it was fun loved Kat Von D. Um, Tarte was not a fan of that one at all. Was not a fan of this grande lip. That was just terrible. Why is that even on the market? Um, and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills, like I said, it's a really pretty color. It is kind of feeling drying. Um, it was hard to apply, but the, the color is just so gorgeous. So, I can't say that I recommend this box, but if this is something that you are interested in or you want to give these a shot on your own, go ahead and pick it up. It's still a good deal. Um, I mean, you still get the full size and you still get uh, six lipsticks total. So it is a good deal. All right, guys. So that is it for this review. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and I have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.